And welcome everybody. We're here at the uh, Fall Car Collector Flea Market and also car parts. Yeah. Let's go around and uh, check this place out. There's uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of vehicles here on this uh, really nice uh, fall uh, mid-morning here in Carlisle as we walk up and down the aisle here and uh, check out some vehicles. We go with the uh, Canadian version of the uh, Chevelle. This is called the Belmont. This is uh, made for uh, Canada. A 1966 Pontiac Belmont. This is a real car. As we walk around here, Canadian Chevelle. asking 55,000 for this uh, particular Belmont here. Have a look at the inside here. Hey, check out this uh, 1953 Studebaker. Nicely, nicely restored. Have a look at the inside. Nice sprayed orange seats. Nineteen fifty three Studebaker. Check this one out. Nineteen forty one Dodge. Eight thousand dollars. Hey, check out this uh, 1972 MG Midget here. It's for sale. Don't see any price on it, but it's sharp. Seventy-three MG Midget. Check this one out: the 1940 Chevrolet M Master Deluxe convertible. Really sharp, isn't it? We got the back here or inside, and we'll go to the back. The Chevy Deluxe, and right next to it is a, a Mustang. for this uh, Mustang here 1972 check out this Mustang here they're asking uh, 29.5 for this uh, 1968 Ford Mustang and then we have uh, a Super Sport here Chevrolet Super Sport Check out this Ford uh, tow truck here. Here we 
we go with a Ford Fairlane, 64 Ford Fairlane, 74,000 miles, that's in uh, $23,000. Ford Fairlane 500. Okay, let's go in here and uh, go into Pavilion B here and check out uh, some of these vehicles that are in here. Nice Oldsmobile here, 88. Sharp, isn't it? 1971 with the uh, a 302. And we have some Corvettes over here. 65 Corvettes for $74,900. And next to that is a, a white sting right here. A 1975 Corvette Stingray. Looks like they're asking 29.5. Next to that is the, uh, looks like a, a Pontiac Le Mans. Check out this, uh, this Corvette here. Twenty nineteen asking uh sixty two nine. Here's a CUDA all the way from uh, looks like North Carolina. A little dark in there, it's a nineteen seventy CUDA. Looks like it's sold, but they're asking uh 65,000 for it. We have another Cuda here. 71. Check out this really nice uh, Chevrolet here. 59 Chevy Impala. That's good. 79,000. With a 348 in it. Look inside of it here. Check out the back there. Looks like we have an older uh, Thunderbird here. This white one. Nineteen sixty four T Bird or uh, thirty five nine. Here's a newer newer Kia. And check out this uh, Studebaker Avanti here. Asking twenty five thousand for this. Next 
it a Studebaker? It's a, a Mercedes. It's like a 67 Mercedes. Asking 38,000 for this particular Mercedes. There's a 55 Ford Crown Vic. Asking 34,000 for this particular one here. Sixty-seven uh, Chevy Camaro RS asking fifty thousand for this one here. Check out this. Uh, it's a Plymouth uh, Roadrunner here. The inside of the Roadrunner. Looks like they're asking uh, sixty-nine thousand for this Roadrunner here. And here's a Cuda, a seventy-three Cuda for fifty-four nine. here. A 63 uh, split window Corvette. And a Camaro Super Sport. A 67 Camaro Super Sport asking 49,000. You got a, a Pontiac Grand Prix here. at the inside here. This thing is sharp. 38.5 for a 1937 Chevy pickup truck. And then we're coming upon a, a looks like a Ford Country Square. In storage since 1977. And they're wanting twenty-seven thousand five hundred for this particular Ford here. Check this Super Sport out here. Fire engine red. Automatic convertible. And we have another Monte Carlo here, 1970. Nice. Asking sixteen thousand five hundred. Russian bucket seats all blacked out. That's fucking cool. Hey, check out this uh, old Ford uh, pickup truck here. That's up here on the uh, the stage up here at the fairgrounds. I don't see any year on it or anything like that or what they're asking for it. It's just on display or what, but it's really nice. 
Yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, vehicles up here. There's a uh, there's one of these uh, Pontiac, uh, what, what they call them? I'm not sure what they call these. Uh, I know they're made by Pi uh, Ferraro. Ferraro by Pontiac. And check this one out, this old Nash here. Yeah, this thing is sharp. Have a look at the inside of it here. Looks like you can do a little camping with this one here with that bed in the back. We swing around. We got a, a Monte Carlo here. And I believe this is a, a Citron. A French car. And then check out this this Chevy pickup truck here. This whole one, old 3100. Here we go with a a Plymouth, a 1966 Plymouth uh, VIP, asking 13,500 our best offer for this uh, Plymouth here. Check out this uh, old Ford here. That's good now, uh, 13,900. 1953 Ford Mainline. That is a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Number 24.5. Hey, check out this uh, 57 BMW Fantella, Fantella 300. A little two-seater there. Very solid, it says. A little two seater. That thing is sharp, isn't it? And then right next to that one there is uh, an MG. A nice one at that. Nice bright orange. A 1978. Runs and drives great. It's an MG Midget. Asking price of 4995 hey, Check out this uh, 1956 Chrysler. Uh, 31,000 miles on it. It's a Chrysler. Next to the Chrysler is a really, really nice uh, Ford Mustang. No year on, I would say uh, 65, 66. It has a current inspection. It's, they're asking. 27500 for this uh, Mustang here. Hey, check out this 1965 uh, Ford Falcon. Looks like they're asking 18500 for the 65 Falcon. Right next.
next to the Falcon here is a another real old one here. Looks like a, a Pontiac. It has a Pontiac emblem on it. And a Willie there, so I don't I'm not sure. No markings or any asking price or anything like that. Go with this uh, black uh, Ford Galaxy. It started up here. This is them. Uh, this is them mufflers on that. And check out this uh, Lincoln Continental. This two-door Lincoln Continental. Like it's in really good shape. Nineteen fifty-six Continental. 37,500 dollars for this 56 Lincoln. Right across from here, look at this old one here. No markings on it, uh, not sure what it is. But it's an old one. Oh, it's a 30, 1930 Dodge. 1930 Dodge. Next to that, we have a, a Volkswagen uh, bus here. Missing all of its windows. A project vehicle here. 72 BW bus and they're asking uh, 9,500 for this uh, BW bus here hey check out this uh, 1971 Lincoln Mark 3 only 15,730 miles on it and they're asking 18,850 Looks like it's really in uh, really good shape here. The two door. The Lincoln Continental. Okay, let's uh, go in here to the building P and check out the, what we have in here. Some items that are for sale, some shirts and whatnot, pictures and signs. Go over and check some of these cards out that are over here. A little bit of everything here. Walk over here and check out these vehicles that are on display over here against the wall. Oh, check out this one here. So, first thing I said, look like this. Yeah, that's something different, isn't it? It's like it's airbrushed. Mm -hmm. 
the hybrid here. Let's uh, go in here and take a stroll through the uh, flea market of car parts here. Fenders, and bumpers, here's some gas tanks up here.
a rather large swap meet down here of uh, all types of car parts here at the Carlisle Fairground this year. As we make our way around and now we're coming.
want to wrap things up here in uh, the Carlisle Fairgrounds this year for the uh, Paul Carlisle Car Corral and Flea Market. Hey, it was a really, really great time going around looking at all these really nice vehicles. But until next time, I will see you on the next adventure. Bye now.